Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be going over um, from the official uh, College Board Study Guide for the SAT, Practice Test Number 3, Math Non-Calculator Number 10. Okay, and you know, there's a lot of systems of equations um, on the SAT, and so we've got to feel comfortable with number one, what they're asking us to do, and then um, and then answering the question that they actually ask. So it says in the xy plane, so just in the coordinate plane, the parabola with equation y equals x minus 11 quantity squared intersects the line with equation y equals 25. Okay, so first we see that we have a quadratic, and we know that because they told us it was a parabola and also because that highest exponent is a 2. And then we have a line. Now, I'm really hopeful you, you recognize that line. That line represents a horizontal line. Why? Well, first of all, because there's no x, and it's a constant. It's saying, no matter what, y will always be 25. So if you think about that, that is a line going through 25. It's going to have a y value of 25 no matter what the x is. Okay, so there's y equals 25. Okay, and I have a parabola that has been shifted to the right 11 units. So it's got its, its um, vertex right on the x-axis. So we've got something like this. Okay, it's actually, and it says those two points where they intersect, we're going to call them A and B. And it wants to know what the length is of AB. And there's that segment notation that you learned about in geometry. So I'm specifically looking for this. So what I really need to find are the x coordinates of those points. Because if I can find that x and that x, well, the length between them would be the length of AB. All right, so I have to find the points of intersection of the graph. And, and, and be careful, because I said points, not point. If these were two linear equations, then there'd be one point of intersection. So you use substitution. We can set x minus 11 squared equal to 25. Okay, and we can solve this. So because this is being squared, I can take the square root. I can do the inverse operation, the square root of both sides. Now, if you do that, you have to remember that that square root of 25 it could be both positive or negative, so we would have plus or minus 5. That would be something I could see some of you forgetting. All right, then we add 11. I always tell my students to put that 11 in the front of the plus minus. So we have 11 plus 5 as one answer, and we have 11 minus 5 as the other answer. So 11 plus 5 gives me 16, and 11 minus 5 gives me 6. So those represent the x-coordinates of those points, because the y's are 25. Remember, we said they, they didn't change. So this is 6, 25, and this is 6, 10, 25. Well, between, if I'm trying to find the distance between uh, 6 and 16, we can see that that distance would be 10, Okay, which is an answer of A. Now, let's just pretend, though. Look at the answers. Let's pretend you forgot the plus minus. If you forgot the plus minus and you just said positive 5, well, you'd get this. And what you can notice is that that's an answer. So you have to be very, very careful about what is being asked before you start attacking the problem. And this picture gave us a good representation of what was being asked. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Have a great day.